It was December, it was like two weeks before my birthday, and I needed a new laptop, right? Because my old one was hot garbage. This thing could barely run two BING browser tabs. BING, bro. Like, how sad and pathetic of a device you have to be to not be able to load BING browser tabs. So, you know, I obviously have to get rid of that thing and replace it with an actual laptop that, you know, could run three BING browser tabs. After a while of searching, I settled on the Dell G15 Turbo which I'm not sure if Turbo was in the name, but we're gonna roll with it anyway. I was thinking, great, finally, it's, I'm gonna get a new laptop, it's gonna be fantastic, it's gonna arrive right around my birthday. So around two weeks after my birthday, the laptop finally arrives. Now, you know how you're supposed to like fully charge a device before, before using it? Is that a thing everyone does? That's supposed to be done, right? Yeah, I didn't do that. So I've got this laptop, I've been using it for like two weeks, everything is going great, everything's going fine. And then, the F key stops working. So I'm like, huh, that's weird. That's not supposed to be working that way. So I do the normal person thing of complaining before ever trying to fix the problem. And you know, it's going great. Around five minutes is complaining. I'm getting, I'm like, okay, yeah, we're on a roll here. But uh, the problem's not being fixed. So maybe I should actually try something. And so I restart my computer thinking that's going to work. You know, the old tried and true, all reliable. It doesn't work. All reliable lie to you. At this point, I'm like all out of ideas. I've done everything I can, basically. And it's at this point where I decide Let's use around 50% of my brain and like going to the settings to try and figure out the problem. You see, now we're thinking in the third dimension. I go to keyboard settings, try and find anything there that could potentially, you know, straighten out this one thing that just decided to step out of line. And can I just say like F, the one key that like I hardly use caused this whole thing. I'm trying everything at this point, resetting my keyboard, plugging in and out my keyboard, going onto the websites to test my key. I tried so many things, I even got to the point where I figured out the key is working. The F key is working, it's just not registering on screen. I've had this laptop for like two weeks and something's already gone wrong. I mean like F? If I can't use that F, that rules out like half of my favorite words. Well like fruition, flabbergasted, Fru fructose, flamboyant, Fib Fibonacci, and this is where I'm like, all right, it's time to get serious. So I calm myself down, I start calming myself way down, all right, chill, zen, and I start looking deeper, and eventually I arrive at a part of the computer that I didn't even know existed until this point. Welcome everyone to the BIOS settings. Now there's a lot of technical stuff in the BIOS settings, so I'm going to explain it in the simplest way that I know how. 1776. America had just declared independence from Great Britain. They believed that all men were created equal. Asterix. And so they created... The Bill of Rights. Which basically evolved into what the Constitution for America is today. Holds absolute power, is sovereign, and is extremely difficult to change. I'm drawing so many parallels. To the, to the BIOS settings here. The BIOS settings are basically the underlying rules for everything that happens in the computer. If you change the setting here, you change the setting everywhere. Every part of the computer has to follow it whether they like it or not. And if they want to change it, then they have to undergo an extremely convoluted process. I'm like, this is basically like a playground. So I just start going around changing settings, all right? I'm just going around flipping any switch that just happens to just like pop out to me. That's a lie. I didn't do that. I head over to where it says keyboard settings. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say keyboard settings, but somehow I got keyboard settings from whatever it was titled. And so I start looking and I end up changing more settings that just benefit my quality of life on the computer than actually finding any solutions. And so I return, defeated. There's nothing else I could do. Literally nothing else. What more could possibly be done? That's what I thought too. Hey, D-Source. Pause. Duffin here. What is the solution to all of your problems? Get rid of them. Now, it sounds simple, but it's incredibly useful. For example, if there's a burning building, you want to get rid of the burning building. Why put out the fire when you could just get rid of the building? No building, no house fire. And this is the only way that I can ever rationalize what I did next, because it makes absolutely no sense. As you may have seen from the thumbnail, if you, you know, aren't blind. There's a little thing, a little file there called System32. Now, System32 is what I describe as the bread to the sandwich, or, you know, the paper to a piece of writing. One could not exist without the other. That's objectively incorrect, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know all the specifics about System32, 
but I'll give a like a general visualization. If the BIOS settings are the Constitution, then System 32 is the front door to the building that the Constitution was written inside. Yeah, you might have an extremely powerful political entity that holds complete sovereignty in your country, but if you can't enter the building where it was written, then I don't see what the point is. I mean, if four founding fathers walked into a room, wrote the American Constitution, and walked out, but no one was there to see them do it, did they really do it? That's what I thought. Keep your mind sharp, everyone. It's a dangerous world we live in. But let's assume that I don't know any of this, and I'm just doing anything that comes to mind that would possibly fix my problem. Now, if you look at the thumbnail to this video in just the right way, then you might be able to depict that I'm about- I deleted System 32. Twice. Because the first time wasn't enough. It was mainly because nothing actually happened when I deleted it the first time, so I just thought, huh, maybe it didn't work. All these times my friends have called me stupid is starting to make some sense. And then nothing happened a second time, so I'm just like, well, maybe if I restart my computer, something will happen. And something did in fact happen. Remember how I said that System 32 is like the key and the door to the entire building which the Constitution was written in? Yeah, I was locked out of my PC now. You know the box? The box where you type in your password? It was gone! It's like it never existed. And at this point, I'm like fully freaking out. I'm just like, what, what, what am I gonna do? I have like three fully finished YouTube videos that I'm just about to post to my loyal viewers. That's just some embellishment to make the story more interesting, you know, raise the stakes. Obviously, none of that is true. And so I resort to my final tactic. Now, there's a saying that my friend told me. I live by it. If at first you don't succeed, destroy any evidence that you tried. Now, what exactly does this mean? It means I decided to completely wipe my computer. You can't see me, but I'm visibly like shaking my head because of how stupid that was. So I decided to spend a very reasonable amount of money on a 512 gigabyte USB stick to try and save any of the data that I was about to wipe. So I leave it in there and I go to school. Six hours later, I come back and it's stuck on 98%. And I think you know what this means. And everyone knows in terms of loading things, if it's not 100% complete, then it's not even started. And so you know what I did? I finally used my brain for once. I stopped it, restarted it, went to sleep, left it overnight. 98%. At this point, I give up. I've given up, like genuinely, I gave up. I was done. So I just completely, fully wiped my PC. Wouldn't, didn't even try and save any of my data. I was completely, I was completely disassociated at this point. All of this, because the F key stopped working. The F key. The F key. Who even uses the F key? Not even something important like the O key. The F key. <sighs> I have my computer closed because I'm worried that once I open it, there'll be a Windows I don't even know inside. And so I open it. Everything's gone. My personalized backgrounds, all my apps I installed, my software, settings, all of it reset. All of it gone. I can't remember exactly what it says, but it says something along the lines of Psych get God Do so you know that USB that got stuck at 98%? Turns out 98% of the data was stored on the USB. <laughs> Who could have guessed? Who could have guessed? I should have guessed. So I got everything back. Everything was here. All my data, all of my settings, all of it was here. Except, you know, of course those those darn three fully finished YouTube videos I was going to upload to the Duff and Rex YouTube channel. Oh, sorry guys, I, I'm just really, really upset about that. All jokes aside, there actually was one finished video. It was terrible anyway, so I don't really care. And that's it. That's the story of how I almost completely destroyed my PC because of the F key. Now, what's the takeaway? What's the lesson from all this? Well, apparently nothing. Because a while ago, my mic stopped working. I was about to do the exact same thing all over again.